another episode of Daily Driven Exotic. Now, I absolutely love the scream of this naturally aspirated Lamborghini V12 engine. And to continue the theme of making V12s scream on this channel, we have a little update for you guys. Actually, it's a big update, big update. on the Ferrari 550 Marinello. Some of you might have forgot about that car, but it has been under construction, being built by our friend Mike Essa. And we're almost at his shop. We're just pulling in right now. Where are we? I'm lost. Yeah, Is it over here? It all looks the same. Well, we're in the right place. One of Mike's drift BMWs, and I see the 550 sitting right there inside the garage. So why don't we go in, show you guys all the things Mike's accomplished in the last month and a half. And that was while he was still uh, basically racing and competing in Formula Drift. Now it's the off season and he's got like a five or six month window, maybe a four month window because he also has to prep his own race car. But let's get inside his shop and see what the update is. Whew. These cars sound so good when they're straight pipe like that. It's gonna take everything in me to actually put turbos on that car. But we're not here to talk about that car. We're here to talk about this car. What's up? How the hell have you been? Good, good. How you guys doing? I want it, I want it on, the, on the trio of a handshake. Wow, look at this. Dude. You got quite a bit done, I can see. The interior is looking very different from the last time we were here. Yeah, exactly. So, cage is all finished up. Uh, we just uh, almost done with the rear sheet metal stuff. And uh, if you peek in the trunk, you can see the fuel cell. The headers are actually gonna be shipped out tomorrow. Six into one on each side. They're pretty cool looking. So I'm pretty excited to get those things and, and bolt those on the car. All right, now that you're back from Formula Drift, we have you full time. Yep. You've been working on this for how long right now? Um, I don't know how many days so far, but uh, we've been cranking it out ever since FD finished up. We were obviously working on it while FD was going on in between yep. rounds. Uh, but now that it's over, we've been able to really knock out a lot of stuff, finished up the cage and all the sheet metal in the rear. Um, we'll go into the car and kind of point things out and let you see what's going on. So this looks a lot different from the last time we were here. The car now has a complete cage. This is done. This is done, done, done. And then look at this. This looks crazy. You know, speaking of Halloween coming up, this looks like uh, Hellraiser's head. What's going on here with all this? Yeah, so those things are actually called Clecos and they kind of just fasten the panels in place. They're really easy to remove. So we just drill small holes and we can use these Clecos to hold them in place and then we can pop them off with a little uh, pair of pliers and everything can come back out. So building all this sheet metal stuff takes quite a bit of time. Cardboard templates first, lining everything up, tracing them out on aluminum, trimming everything up, bending it, doing bead rolls in it, steps basically to get these two panels to fit together. So this is actually stepped underneath here to get that wow. flat edge. Everything kind of came together in the back. We were able to make uh, do four pieces on the top uh, that are gonna be removable so we can get to the fuel cell um, and then they're almost done. There's a couple little edges that need to get cleaned up and then we're gonna weld some steel strips onto the car on the bottom side here so that these can get fastened down uh, so they're not floating in air. But uh, yeah, about 90% done. So technically this is a firewall. It's a firewall, correct. Oh, that makes yep. sense. Yeah. Damn, you're smart. Well, you know. I've been burned a few times in life. So we have a fuel cell. Now this fuel cell was kind of very specifically chosen for this car. Due to the fact that we want to be able to still street drive this car and actually go more than maybe a hundred miles at a time. How many gallons is this fuel cell? All right, so it's 18 gallons. And last time I said it was like 90 yeah. liters or something, yeah. but it's not, it's about 68 liters. Okay, so my math was way off. And that was the biggest fuel cell that we could fit in the car. I think this will be good. I mean, 68 liters, that's about four liters off from, yeah, basically a McLaren. So this should be okay. I didn't know what to expect when we came back. I didn't know how much time you had while you were busy racing, but you've gotten quite a bit done. And you guys have to appreciate how much they've cleaned the entire interior up. Look at all the scraping. It is really clean in here compared to the way we obviously dropped it off and left it to you in. So we're gonna build a filler mm -hmm. right here. 
that's gonna drop into the top. So you'll have to pop the trunk to fill it. <laughs> that one won't work anymore because this tank's quite a bit higher than the factory one. But that'll be cool, is pop it up and fill it from back here. That's yeah. At the gas station, people will think we're just filling up the trunk. Yeah, what are they doing? Like, what are they doing? <laughs> They're stealing more fuel. Fuel safe stuff's cool, you guys, but we need to get to something that's even cooler that just came in. It was custom ordered for this car, and it's all because race car. Dave, Dude, what do you these, got? These look expensive. Look how sexy this thing is. This stuff's insane. It also says three-way, which I agree with. Hey. Three-way. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new, custom ordered for the 550. And these are what brand? These are Moton three-way adjustable shocks. Yeah. Uh, they have a two-way adjustable that's more of a street shock. These are the three-way motorsport shocks, so built for the track. You want to check these things out. How much do you pay for these, Mike? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are expensive. Uh, uh, seriously, this must be like ten thousand dollars. They're about ten grand. Oh, yep. We actually paid for that. No. Yes. What? No. You told me those are sponsored. It came out of Dave's uh, salary. <laughs> Okay. Somebody paid for it. Kids are starving, bro. <laughs> we paid for it. These are amazing. These are absolutely sick. And it didn't take them all that long to make these. No, so thankfully, Moton already has built these shocks for 550. So they were oh, able to- Oh, this was just an order off the shelf thing. Yeah, they've actually what? made these shocks for a 550 before. This car was super soft. Like the softest car we've ever driven. It, it was bad. I didn't, really didn't enjoy driving this car when it was stock. It had some really old tech in it. This car's from 1999. A lot's changed since then. So how many, what, what you said three-way adjustable? Yeah, so there's two compression settings that are here. Okay. Uh, a low speed and a high speed. So a high speed would be uh, going over big bumps like potholes or curbs on a racetrack. And then the low speed is basically under braking, how the car dives as you turn in, how the car rolls over. So that's a low speed adjustment. And then there's a rebound. So basically after the bump and the wheels go up, how fast do the wheels come back down? And hmm. if you get those wrong, you'll get like an oscillation and it'll feel like cars bouncing around. So you'll be able to dial that out depending on what track we go to. That's, that's funny. Cool. I've had like, I had a Raptor once I bought all this fancy shit, and I click it and be like, oh, I, I, it feels different. <laughs> yeah, you no don't idea. really know what you're doing, you right? So I have no idea. You need like, a professional like, like this oh, guy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's way better now. And turn two. <laughs> it, it definitely takes some time, you know, and a lot of driving to be able to feel those little changes. And a lot of times what I tell guys to do is when they're out of the track, go full stiff on one setting, mm. do a couple mm. laps, go full soft, and then they can really get that. Oh, got it now. Where, you know, you make one or two clicks and it's such a small change on most shocks. That do, you, do you prefer really full stiff or full soft? <laughs> Full stiff, always. <laughs> So we've got the shocks, we've got the fuel cell in. Kind of give us an idea of the timeline to obviously installing this. The headers are gonna be coming in the next week. What's after all this? These are actually pretty easy to put on. They're complete bolt on, so that's gonna be really easy. And setting the ride height and all that, it'll probably take a day. Okay. Um, after that, it's the fuel system stuff. So we have to plumb all the fuel lines, uh, make the filler neck, uh, that's gonna take a couple days. Headers will be pretty easy to bolt on. We actually have headers and an H pipe, but then after that, it's it's all blank. custom. So we're gonna make everything. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna come up through the center and have like a dual exit. Ooh. Center. Out of the center here. Oh, oh hell yeah. Yep. So that's why we chopped all this stuff out so we could get those tubes in here. In the interior, we need to fit the dashboard, trim the edges around where the cage went, and make brackets and everything to hold that in place. Uh, the seats are pretty straightforward. We already have the brackets for that. Make a couple block off panels, um, then clean everything up and. Get get it to the paint shop and get the uh, interior painted so we can actually start assembling it. So then that's basically done. Like you check that box, everything gets painted, you assemble it all, you know, you get the car running. And then after that, we can really tailor and customize just aesthetics and aerodynamics. Yeah, so once we figure out the, if we're gonna do wheels for the stock body, that's gonna be really easy to measure. But if we're gonna do wheels for the wide body, then we'll need to figure out how much wider it is and then we'll dial those offsets in and figure out how much tire we can put under this thing. Give us a rough, uh, cause I know I'm not gonna hold you to this, but rough ETA to basically completing your portion of the interior being done, painted and everything and this thing running. I would say possibly around 45 days. Okay. I think we'll be ready to... 45 days at the due date for that 550 and hold it. <laughs> <laughs> 660 days. to 70 days. <laughs> right? The series doesn't lie. Well, that's pretty quick because a lot of that time is going to fly by for us because Dave and I, this is our last trip to California before we're off to the Middle East for Gumball 3000. We're really excited about that. We've never been there. We will be basically taking a car over there, which we haven't revealed yet what we're going to be driving, but stay tuned for that. I'm excited for what we will be driving. It's going to be absolute mayhem over in the Middle East for a 
solid 10 days for Dave and I, then all the travel time and coming back. So by the time we come back, there'll be some big updates on this car and we will make sure that we have Mark come over and film a whole bunch of stuff so that when we come and do the update, you can actually see some of the process of this being built. And now that you have obviously a little more time on your hands, we can all work together with our schedule so that you guys can really see this car being built because this is the biggest project we've ever taken Huge. on here at DD. Like this car was perfectly good it and was drivable. A one owner collector car. It had the luggage in it still. <laughs> and we, we, we ruined everything. Destroyed. Um, we destroyed it. And we're gonna make it into something that we think is very daily driven exotics and very cool. And it's a good platform for us to start uh, and see you know, what the timeline, the expenses, and what the outcome of this is and how much you guys love or maybe don't love it, I think you're gonna love it. Um, and then we can go bigger from here. This is a one-off car and probably will be in our collection for a very long time. I don't know if we'll ever end up selling this car. This car's got some really epic plans for videos in the near future. And then you're gonna teach me how to drive it, really. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna be the best part, right? That'll be get this thing all done and then just be able to go out on track and thrash it. <laughs> thrash it. That was the whole goal, was make a Ferrari that was naturally aspirated with a V12 in the front and a gated shifter that we could thrash on this channel and make crazy sounds and make it do some really cool things that it would have never been able to do before. Smash the subscribe button, now's a good time. If you like the fact that we're taking a perfectly good Ferrari and we're taking it to that next level on this channel, smash the subscribe button and join the DD fam. All right, man, we'll leave you to it. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for coming by. And uh, My pleasure. Yeah, next time we're gonna have even more stuff done and just, yeah, keep getting closer to 45 getting this days? Thing running. 45 days? 45 days. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <the hell? laughs> so he had to make a payment. We actually have to mention that because you had the watch on earlier. Happy Jewelers, he borrows watches from Happy Jewelers. They sold the watch again on his wrist, which is a running joke that whatever Dave wears, they sell. It's basically like we're at a 100% success rate. Whatever he wears on his wrist, they have to sell. So they needed the watch and they needed it so badly, this is the first time it's ever happened, that while we were here, they sent a guy that in the middle of us filming this came and took the watch right off his wrist and left. The customer was there because there's a rare APA hat on that hadn't sold the head for like six weeks. The guy was there wanting to buy it today. I was like, I can come grab it. So their dude came here and grabbed it. And he, he, <laughs> and he came here and he ran, grabbed it and ran back. So anyhow, <laughs> we're done with Mike. We'll see you soon. Take care, buddy. Thank you. You guys, we got some more fun action coming. We got to go all the way up to the valley in Los Angeles and pick up the 720 GTR with a brand new updated tune and a few other little goodies. I think I got some new like burnout mode or something. So let's head over to Gintan. <laughs> fashion this is out of fuel uh, the SVJ's best friend a gas pump all right well this drains Dave's bank account we need to find somewhere to eat lunch I am hungry then we have about an hour and a half drive up to the valley in Los Angeles to go and reclaim the 720 GTR it's been gone for the last week well Dave and I were home and uh, Alex was doing some I don't know. What is he's in the Matrix making it shoot bigger flames? Just creating the next Napster. Like, Alex, no one cares anymore, dude. Just fix the car. <laughs> he was downloading illegal music. That's what he's known for. <laughs> We're back. Back in action. Oh, I saw it. We got a park. Alex wanted to take that car and do a um, little update on the tune. We also had, uh, I think, one of the fuel pumps went bad, if I have that correct. It happened. So the 720 is E85 only now, and it burns a lot of it. That's an app for your phone you can get to find. D85 gas stations, because it's not as easy as you might think. Yeah, some say they have it, and you get them, and they don't. And they lie. And apparently, like, cities like Las Vegas, you can't get E85. They got rid of it. So no trips to Vegas in a 720, unless we bring our own. Let's go see what Alex has done to the uh, updated tune. He swapped out the fuel pump. Car's apparently good to go. And we do need to check in with him about twin-turboing this bad boy. Your number is not the confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? What's this for? Don't let this asshole in your shop. That's a good idea. That's a good idea, hey? Might that's be, might be thing. like Make that. sure when you're opening something, Dave's not around with a goddamn camera. Hey, that's pretty cool. They even put your brand on there. Yeah. This is, uh... This is Inconel. <laughs> this is all Inconel, yeah. This is Inconel heat shielding. Real Inconel heat shielding. This not is the that you got from China on your China downpipes. The real right. stuff. Right. Feels pretty, uh... Just to be clear, there's no hate for China here. No, no, but, no, uh, not at all. But uh, there is better quality stuff sometimes. Twin Turbo SVJ. We're supposed to be building you one, no? Yeah. When, when do you want to start it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what other, what other 
<laughs> this guy. What will we be done with this? Well, I, every well, time when, he sticks that when, camera on my face, I feel like you guys can see my like no, nose hairs. Lighting. I know very what, wide. When, uh, I'll stand back and zoom in. <laughs> Seven twenty. What do we do? We replaced a bad fuel pump. Yeah, that's it. And I turned it up a little bit. You turned it. That's what I want. That's what I wanted to hear. Don't tell me that's it. Turn it up. I got fourteen foot flames now, Just or a what? Bit. No, no, the flames are the same. But the dude, power, the flames the power are insane. There. You gotta be careful, dude. We're gonna burn somebody with that. How do we get more flames out of that? Everybody it? on the internet is like, we the feed you some burritos crazy. and make you bend over behind the car. Dairy. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> this is dairy. You don't dairy. blow up, bro. Just a glass of milk and we're good <laughs> to go. Explode. One second. <laughs> Bam. It's like, it's like this. <laughs> Split, Dave. <laughs> Where's my 40 pounds of boost? No 40. Why? Yeah, until after SEMA, no. Why? Because I didn't have time. I'm not going to just throw 40 pounds at the car and put it on the freaking street without testing anything. I've had enough headaches with this thing. Why are you yelling? Yeah, why are you yelling? Because you piss me off. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just here to hang out. Yeah, yeah, hang out. What are you tin foil out? Wrapped so you put this yeah. tin foil wrap. <laughs> on your what are we doing? Baking potatoes over here, boys? Tin foil wrap on Keep your Give the part, aliens too. away. Come and Can I ask you a question? Where's the mercy? Was your mercy? Yeah. No, your mercy. We don't have one. I got one. It's back at the HQ. Uh, I actually got two of them right now. One's not in mine. Who's borrowed it? What? We have a yet another yellow mercy. I buddy dropped yellow. off. I want yours. Go buy yeah. It. I wish I could buy it. Do you guys exchange right we're now? Selling, we're cheap. selling that F8. If I could sell that F8 and make some money, I'll buy it. You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. F8. Who wants to buy that? F8? Alex is buying Dave's LP640. <laughs> Yeah, sold. Tell them okay, I got an idea. What? How about we f start a GoFundMe yep. and everybody chips in and helps me People buy. People feel real bad for you. Shut yeah. Okay. That's fake. You need AP on. on you, it's person. fake. David doesn't have a watch on anymore because he's humble. Look no, that. he got jacked. Sold my RM. No, he didn't sell sh <laughs> <laughs> So if the uh, F8 sells, if anybody's in the market for an F8, pick the F8 up. What's done to this F8 or is it just stock? Upgraded turbos, added liquid intercoolers, chiller, meth kit, makes about... 900 wheel. Wow, so that's decent. It's fast, it moves. How much do you want for it? What do you want for it? The weight Shut your number out, yeah. Put me a number. 520. That's yeah, not a bad deal. They're going for 450 plus yeah. stock. And you have all that work done to it. It's got over 100 grand in it. So, let's talk about this again. When am I getting the 40 PSI that you promised me? After SEMA. So, it'll hold 40 PSI? We'll see. We'll find out. What do you mean we'll you find out? out. Shit happens, man. What? Oh. What does that mean? What does that mean? No, it doesn't. What? Boom! I gotta take Manny for a ride in this car. If Manny goes on to ride in this car the way it is right now, he'll probably come out a bag of shit in his hand. So that's more than enough, trust me. <laughs> Wait, what if he walked in with it in his hand? Manny? <laughs> <laughs> what if he walked? Where do you come up with this shit from? What if he walked in with the car? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Seriously, man. You turn the boost up on the 720 so we can go. It is already turned up. It's enough. <laughs> Let's go look at it. Come turn it on oh, for everybody. We love to come here and just bust Alex's balls. Seriously. 90% of the time when we come here, we don't even do anything. We come here, we leave the door open on the car, and we walk inside for an hour and a half. Drive me freaking insane. You drive Alex nuts. You don't so need to fun. start it again. Just start it and leave. <laughs> <laughs> but, what, but what happens if I get in it and realize it's only at 39 PSI? Don't try it. I, need, <laughs> I need 40 PSI. Oh my god, we're not taking it to 40 PSI, not right now. Hold the vacuum line. We don't even know if so it doesn't open. No. And then all the boost. You know what? The I had a turbo car once. Yeah, you know what the best part is? Thank you can't god you can't do that because it's, it's, it's electronic. Oh, so electronic. if your dumb ass does something stupid fuse. like that, what was it? it won't work. What were you saying is something is internally internally on the turbos. It's it's an internally gated turbo, but it's an electronic turbo. It's cheap, you piece of shit. Yeah, trash. His Integra had an external wastegate, a big one. It went blah when it opened up. Who's Integra? His back in the day, 20 oh. years, 25 years ago. Where's your Integra? Ago. Mine was sold. Turbo. It's sold actually. Integra sold by no, the way, you guys. No, it's not. Why is did it you actually sell a done Integra? Deal? Did you really sell done it? Deal? People deposit on today. How much? 60,000 Canadian. What is that? 48 US. Damn, that's a lot of money. F you, that's cheap. That's a piece of shit. Break it even though. on that one. <laughs> did you really sell it? Yeah. Why? Don't because try we can. So I bought one of these. Chris you wish. That's sick. That's Chris, sick. That that's Chris's car. Sick. This guy calls me on Saturday and says I bought a car. He's going to buy an AMG GT and then calls me with my grandpa's car and tells me he bought an S500. Dude, that's sick. Why, Dude. why are you talking We're not talking <laughs> Dude, that is so sick. It is Thank sick. You. The interior yours? is sick. Yeah, yeah, it is. What the f that's a sick. Guys, this is this is how our CNC machinists are living here at Gantani. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me just brush some shoulders, shoulders off here, son. S580, right? The real, the, Dude, the this real, thing's brand new. The real truth behind this is he bought it 
so he could drive me around on the weekends. Really? Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, yeah, red interior? <laughs> yeah, some shit. Cops. Cops. Bro. This is nice. So what? A, this is a come up. Dude, it's got the pillows. Yeah. Oh my god. My oh, gosh, bro. This Great thing is bar. nice. Somebody get us some great pool. Holy crap. Oh my Look god. at it back there. Yeah. By the way, really they're actually hiring for uh, <laughs> for more fabricators to get cars like this. So <laughs> feel free just to, if you want to apply, just call their number. Yeah, it's on the side of the building. <laughs> look it up. Look it up on Google and, and call their number. We'll see how many people call. Dude, you the get, day you this video this drops, you're going to have everybody <laughs> call your phone. <laughs> this is right up Dave's alley. Oh, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. Bro, Copyright. Porn. What are you doing to me, Pornhub. bro? I have no idea what that was. All right, actually. we're going in the 720. All right, we're out of here. All right, good to see you. <laughs> you can tell Alex wants me to leave and take the car with me. I've never had Alex close my door for me. Oh my god, <laughs> not true. I was just trying to be a gentleman over here, I'm trying to be nice. I'm gonna back this thing out right straight out. Alex always says, "Go straight out of here." Go no out. lift. Straight out. No dude. lift. Okay, you leave the fin on the floor, it's your problem this time, not mine. Pulled it out like hundreds of times, so it's kind of like a little bit of a process I bet already. you have a dog. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> what are you doing? Asshole, he's doing it on purpose. Stop breaking the fins, man. I'm not a carbon fiber repair shop, okay? Look at this. We have to fill this thing up again. The V12. It sucks back all the fuel. It's worse than a G-Wagon. You put 91 in this. I got to put E85 in the 720 GTR. And Alex was right. It does have E85 at this. It's hard to find E85 if you just Google it. A lot of places say they have it, and then they don't have it. All right, give up the phone. Give my phone. Sorry, I forgot my phone in your car. Nice jacket, by the way. That's cool. Thanks. You like zippers? It? Keep your stuff in there. Fly crew. Make sure you show some flavors tonight. Why? Because I made them extra big. You made what? Extra big, dude. I made extra big flames. Oh, now you're I'm excited. You love being a flamer. Wait till the sun goes down. We're shooting some flames at the shop. Yep. It still shoots really big flames or bigger flames? Did they're, you make them smaller or bigger? They're a decent size. Yeah, they're a decent size. Dude, I did a burnout in first just lightly getting into it. Yeah, I know. Holy crap. Yeah. Boost coming in at hard. Hard coming in boost. <laughs> okay? Boost come hard. <laughs> Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe, maybe shit. <laughs> 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 happens. Yeah. See, I can't even leave you guys. I, I'm at the gas station giving you hugs. We're, you like, we're, we're, we're literally hug. like two blocks away from his shop right now. Back. You have to. Oh, okay, you sit, are you going to sit the back? That's you dumb. douche. That's <laughs> dumb. Let's go. Do you mind getting a door for me, sir? Yeah, Son of a bitch, you Alex, did it again. You son of a bitch. What have you done to our car? King Who's of the one oil chain. King of the flame tuning. All right, and that's a video. Peace. You know what this is right now? This is the LA starter kit. <laughs> LA starter kit. LA douche oh, starter kit. That's so douche good. Douche starter. That's pretty. F up. 
jeans, black shirt, all blacked out, black everything. Not a carbon fiber repair shop, okay? Bullshit! Just had a whole family in here from Bulgaria that bloody well fake carbon fiber! They didn't even speak fing English! Hey, can you don't sell me your bullshit? I don't make carbon fiber. You had a whole family. You this way. Daughters and everything. Oh my god. Tell me I'm not. Tell me